The story of money. Imagine living a long time ago in a time without money. How about nine thousand BC? Instead of money, there was swapping. Also known as bartering. It worked like this. Want to swap this apple for an orange? Yes. I want a cow. You want some wheat? But there were problems with this. The items needed to be of a similar value. How about swapping this apple for that DVD? No way. That's not fair. The other problem was that many items would go rotten, and so didn't keep their value. And some were too heavy to even carry. It started to get even more complicated when people began using gifts like perfume, jewelry, and other valuable goods. You want this perfume for that necklace? I don't like the smell of it. No. However. China, they had started using cowrie shells as money. So instead of swapping things for other things, you could buy the things you wanted with shells. <laughs> But no one in the West knew about this because back then there was no social media, internet, TV, or telephone to communicate. So what did they try in the West? They started to use items that were not perishable, items that wouldn't break or get easily damaged. Gold, but gold was too heavy to keep on you and carry around. But what if it was a little smaller? In 200 AD, coins of precious metals were made. They were small, which made them easier to carry around. To make things even easier. The coins were weighed and stamped, so everyone knew how much they were worth. People started to give their gold coins to the goldsmith to look after and keep them safe. Can you look after my gold for me, please? Yes. Here's your ten pound receipt. These receipts were the earliest types of banknotes. They have developed, and now they are no longer linked to gold. Over time, more and more security features have been added to notes to stop them being copied, as well as getting smaller so they now fit into our pockets. Money has continued to change, and in the 1950s, credit cards were invented. Cards mean that now we don't need to carry notes and coins around to pay for stuff. In recent years, with better computers and internet technology, we don't even need to be there to pay for a product. Most of the money in the world is now, in fact, invisible. Money has come a long way over the years, and it continues to change. Who knows what the future will hold?